Hi, I'm Kelly Lambert, and I'm here at the DeMond Conservancy in Monkey Jungle in Miami, Florida, and I'm here to tell you about my new textbook entitled Biological Psychology, Brain and Context, and that's being published by Oxford University Press. And it's appropriate to be here in this beautiful, uh, naturalistic environment that serves as the home for these squirrel monkeys, about 120 squirrel monkeys and a few capuchin monkeys. I love to bring my students here so they can see animals engaging in a more naturalistic environment, um, spontaneous behavior, uh, socially complex behavior, and this is just more authentic if we want to learn more about the brain. We don't do any invasive work with these animals. Uh, occasionally we'll ask them for some urine or, or poop uh, to look at their hormones, um, but we enjoy just watching their behavior. The field of biological psychology or behavioral neuroscience is really the interplay among the brain, behavior, and environment. So we need to be very mindful of the environments that we put the animals in. So uh, a lot of my research involves more traditional laboratory research that's more systematic and informed, but we also need to branch out and look at animals in their more naturalistic, authentic environments as well. So we can put all the pieces of the puzzle together to understand uh, how the brain works. And it's really the environment that got me interested in the field of biological psychology or behavioral neuroscience. As an undergraduate student, I thought I was on the pre-med track until I took a course, Physiological Psychology, which is Biological Psychology or Behavioral Neuroscience Today. I was fascinated by a study conducted by a team at Berkeley um, in which they exposed young rats to enriched environments. So these were environments that were kind of like Disneyland with little stimuli for them to in uh, interact with and they had more animals in the cage so they can interact with each other. And after just a month, it changed their brains. So they had more synaptic connections, heavier brains, more neurochemical activity, and their behavior had also been altered. Um, so it just amazed me that one month of a different environment changed the structure of the brain, and I wanted to learn more. Uh, so here I am, three decades later, uh, still a student of the discipline, and in my own lab, we're still looking at the effects of enriched environments. Um, more recently, we've looked at more natural environments, so instead of exposing rats to artificial stimuli, we also expose them to natural stimuli, dirt and rocks and sticks. Uh, kind of the country rat versus the city rat idea. Uh, and even though cognitively they seem to be the same, our um, more naturalistic country rats seem to have an advantage with emotional resilience, so we're looking forward to learning more about that. 